so let's say that we're in uh, Hitler territory right now uh, and you're thinking of who to play who are you who do you want to give chancellorship to because we know that if uh, you give chancellorship uh, in this scenario the reds and this gets upvoted you've lost the game so who would you like to go to now obviously it's a social deduction game so if people are kind of talking or moving kind of weird you can pick up on certain things uh, but if we're going to just play quite objectively i guess logically as well uh, there's ways of knowing or less or, or um knowing who's less likely to be hitler now if there's one conflict on the board now this depends on the the, the experience of the table and you need to be able to also understand what the uh, experiences on the table but most likely it's not going to be quite high hitler is not going to make a first turn conflict he's not sorry not just a first sorry the first conflict he's not going to make the first conflict that's generally how it goes so what most people will tell you to do is they'll tell you to play into this conflict now it doesn't matter if you went it doesn't matter as much right uh if you went to blue okay because if he does conflict you here that would then tell you that this guy here is looking better it doesn't make him liberal because remember you can have a fash fash conflict but it tells you that this guy is definitely the f definitely one or the fash in this conflict and it's also telling the boards it's giving board information so now that would what i would tell you is is either this guy is liberal uh orange and pink are both fash or uh orange and blue are both fash or blue by himself is fascist now if you saw lines like this in most scenarios you would think that blue is the fascist and uh i can't think of anything where you'd be wrong in that in that sense right now uh he is looking like the fascist so far now uh, also you need to take into account the notes that will be on the right side of your screen they'll be in here now if 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 pink has been playing really nice uh liberal cards down especially if you play like fourth liberal or something like that and hasn't looked like he's dips or anything like that uh isn't looking weird you probably assume this guy is a liberal however you do not know 100 percent uh but this guy is looking really sus so you can go to this guy if you wish um or you can go here as well and if that did come up clean that's also nice so if you were a fascist in this scenario this uh it kind of branches out here quite wide to be honest because you could ditch it really depends on how far away you are far you're on the board and i would say the best way of knowing what to do here is by playing uh if you did ditch if you were here right for example if there were four libs out you're gonna have to ditch uh, in this scenario i don't believe there would be um but bullet could be coming up i would say generally never play fourth lib no matter who you are that's generally that's uh, no, no no sorry that's a, uh if you are fascist sorry even Hitler, I mean, it's kind of risky if you're Hitler and not playing, uh, well, get into a conflict for one. Um, but you don't really want to play four flip because what happens is, is that they're only one away. And what you'll see is when you play, is when you play a four flip, you've generally lost the game if you're a fascist. So I'd cause a conflict in this scenario uh, if it was like this for some unknown reason. Uh, I would say it's up to you. You're probably going to get shot. Uh, if you if if the board was looking like this and you're not going to see play next, I would say just do it because if you're not coming up, well, again, you're in a conflict, so you're probably never going to see play. I'd say do it. Uh, but that's off the top of my head right now, uh, so that could be an inaccuracy. Uh, but I would say do it. Um, obviously, if this guy's a liberal, then yeah, you would play it out, and that would look really nice. But that does not make him liberal, so uh, it's up to you what you'd want to do there but yeah i would say go into a conflict because hitler's generally not going to be there if you start going well pink's played a lot of liberals or oh, red's played a lot of liberals yeah let's go here it's not smart um just because hitler is generally going to be outside of conflicts on beginner intermediate tables now when it does come to these kind of conflicts as well uh never give presidency to anyone in a conflict okay doesn't matter the 50 50 you don't want to take the chance the reason why you can tr you can the reason why you can give pregnancy to someone that looks really nice on liberal side and give chances to someone in, in the uh, conflict is because like we said uh, hitler doesn't go into conflicts 
and two it means that they don't get they don't get to dictate the cards uh, as much right so they can't ditch the, the if they get one lib and you're about to win they can't ditch they can't ditch that last lib uh all they can do is cause the conflict now if this person's looking really nice and this person's looking really shit then that can tell you this person's probably bad but again it's not 100 percent never give presidency to anyone in conflict so if this guy does play the liberal that does not make him liberal do not give him presence do not allow him to be present ever uh maybe not ever but in most scenarios i would not do it 